Greetings, everyone. Father Jim here. Hope you're doing well on this Saturday. Yes, the weekend is finally here, and it is the 11th day of May. I'm just going to read from our gospel today. Of course, it's coming from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, verses 23 through 28. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you'll receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Those words of Jesus at the very beginning of our gospel today tell us the attitude and disposition we ought to have in prayer. Boldness, confidence, assurance. He instructs his disciples and each and every one of us that when we bring our petitions and needs to the Father with confidence in Jesus' name, the Father will grant them. Faith and trust in Jesus' words are what allow us to bring our prayers to the Father with confidence. They offer assurance that nothing we face, no problems we encounter, are too big for God. It can be easy to fall into the mindset of thinking that our problems are bigger than God. But Jesus reminds us that the Father is the Lord and giver of all. He is the creator. He is the one who is able to accomplish anything according to his will. Jesus is encouraging his disciples as he's encouraging us today to pray with boldness and confidence that the Father will hear our prayers and grant them according to his will. God is always present, and in his mercy and love, he desires to grant what we need and what is best for us. Of course, Satan's going to try to tempt us away from bringing everything before the Father in the name of Jesus to be fulfilled. Satan will try to tell us that God is not capable of giving us what we pray for, but our faith is not one of timidity or fear. Rather, it is one of boldness and assurance that God is who he says he is. Today, let's continue as we approach that divine mercy of God with confidence in our prayers. Let's make in the name of our Lord, let's all our prayers be heard by the Father and be building up that confidence to know that they will be granted according to his holy will. That is something really to believe in as we go through this Saturday. So let's keep praying for one another as we embark on this weekend, get some good rest, family time, pray, and remember to get to church tomorrow as well. Let's keep praying for one another. God bless you. Take care.